Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Sandwich Bay, Kevin. I'm joined by Mark and Pete behind me. They are going to work and we're trying to dig some common luck. So we've come down to Sandwich Bay, driven through the lovely historic village, through the toll road, and then as the road meets the sea, we've driven right the way up to the golf course and park right next to the golf course, that's as far as we can go. And then we've come down to the bay, it's low tide, and we're gonna dig for some common lug, and then we'll walk right the way to the far end in Pegwell Bay. Basically the opposite side of the uh, River Stour to, uh, to Pegwell Bay, and we're gonna be fishing for bass. Now unfortunately for me and for Pete, behind, especially me and me, um, we don't get the chance to look at all the elements involved in planning a good fishing trip and then picking the, the best day that week to go fishing. That's not something we have the luxury of. We get to go fishing once a week um, and we have to basically pick the day and then fish around the elements that we get thrown that day. So if it's a low tide we have to fish the low tide if it's uh, winds from the east if it's raining if the pressure's not good we have to just make the most of that we haven't got the freedom to be able to just look at the weather look at the tides and, and go boom that day is going to be the best let's go then we have to just take what we're given and go fishing today fingers crossed things are looking good for a good bass session to see. So let's hope my theory for it in practice. Well we finally made it to the far far end. It takes about 40 minutes and uh, when you stop and try and dig worms on the way it takes a lot longer. Uh, the worms have been very difficult to get. They are foot and a half deep at least. So we've struggled. We've got hopefully enough for a session between three of us. We might just fish one rod each. Don't know but we come right to the far end and the sand further down is just one gradual slope down to the seabed. You come up this end and you can see that I've got this lovely depression. There's a sandbar there. It's not very big, but it's still there. It's a high sandbar. And then there's a high sandbar there on that side. And we are fishing in this trough, this gully as it comes in. These bass, hopefully, should be coming through here and then working their way around these gullies, around the sandbars, on the feed. So, we are just waiting for this tide to come in. It is lovely up this end, it really is. Peace and quiet, no one's around. You're back by the golf course, the golf course is lovely. Got Pegwell Bay over that side. Ramsgate just over in the distance. And uh, hopefully we're going to see some seams later, which will be lovely as well. Anyway, I'm going to get set up, show you what rig I'm using to get these bass, and hopefully get a bass. Right, it's ideal now, ideal time to whack this out. Get an early bass as it comes over this flooding tide. Bit of a walk, the first one, but it doesn't take long before that tide is right by your feet and you're not having to walk at all. It's probably only one, two casts maybe. But these bass, if they're here, they're going to be coming in, in this shallow, on the feet straight away. I'm just going to overhead, overhead thump this, that's all. A bit, nice bit, nice headwind, nice wind coming in. That's getting this rollers going, which is good. Good bassy weather. All right, let's go out. That'll do. Just get that up on the rest. Well, I've just put that rod out. It's a bit of a race to get that out because I've see where the water was coming and I wanted to get a bait in that water whilst them bass are coming over that flooding tide. Um, I tend to find here that the first 
15, 20 minutes, you've got a chance of a good bass if they're here. So I've put that out. I've basically put a long range rig out, which is one big flowing trace, single hook. And I've baited that with um, common lug, tipped with, tip with squid. And that's got a little floaty bead on top. It's not going to do a lot. It's not going to make a different, really a difference at all. But that, that's a big, big um, flowing bait, flowing trace. It'll be flapping around out there, moving around in that in that water. Hopefully, putting a nice bit of scent out and attracting a bass. I've got my rod up high in a sand spike, and I'm using the cross power heavy because I still haven't fixed my Sonic yet. I better watch this because. Uh, there is a chance that this could go over. So, fingers crossed. Well, we've got a little tip there. We go, we've got a bite. We've got a bite. We've got a bite on this. So, look, I better keep on this, see what's going on. Come on. Bite already, mate. Yeah. Go on. Not sure if I've got him. I don't think I have. I think I missed it. But they do sometimes come in like nothing. No, it's hard to tell. But they're here. There's bass here. Don't think I've got him. Don't think I've got that. That went over in my hand. Oh, how did I miss that? How did I miss that? Come on. Fresh bait. Oh my, have I got him? I don't know. Oh, I have. I've got a tiny tiddler. <laughs> oh, he's not that tiny. Well, there we go. Beautiful little bar of silver, little school bass, probably a pound, undersized. So very quickly for everyone watching, there is the size of it. This is way below size, it's about 33. So we're gonna get him back. He wants to be a lot bigger. I want 45s, 45s to take. So little school bass, he can go back, but well happy with that on the first cast. Right, I'm gonna have to get wet feet. Let's get this bass back. He should swim off, there he is. He's all right. Go on, mate, off you go. Very shallow, but I'm gonna get wet feet, go on. Off you go. There he is. And there he goes. Swimming off. Let's hope we can get his dad. So because we are quite short of bait, I'm gonna leave that old bait on. I'm gonna put one worm on the hook. Fully on the hook. Pull the float stop down. Well, just clip this all up this rig and it's ready to go out and I'm just gonna overhead thump it again at the moment just getting it out there there's a nice wind blowing on shore so we're not getting that far out but let's fish well the battery of marks just missed a decent knock on his rod there's definitely fish about
Ooh. And a mine. Big knock on mine. Come on. They are definitely fish about. Come on. Well, I'm getting loads of little trembles. I don't know if there's one on here. There might be. There might be a fish on here. I don't know. Don't think so. Don't think so. Well, we think, well, Pete thinks he might have a fish. I wonder if he has. Yeah? No, it felt, felt like it. But... Well, let's have a look, mate. Yeah, there's a fish there, little little fish. Yeah. But a fish is a fish, Pete. Is it an eel? Or is it the smallest? Oh, it is an eel. He's got himself an eel. The other species that you can get here. There is Pete. And his eel. Well done, mate. Yeah, silver, eh? yeah a little silver eel. Yeah. He will find his own way back, he's not stupid. But you could help him, couldn't you, Pete? <laughs> Where is he going? He's gone, though. Well done, Pete. Fish is a fish. So I've just cast my rod out again, fresh bait, and I've put it a bit shorter, about 40 yards, just over the last breaker. The sea is rolling in lovely. Nice little bit of roll on the, on the surf coming in. And this it's just pushed over. The tides are now just pushed over where all these worm casts were about 10 minutes ago. So there's loads of food out there for, for uh, poten the bass to potentially come and feed on. We're getting bites. I'm getting a bite again, so I better get to the rod. Hopefully this might be a good session. Never know though. Well, I've got another bite here, but it's a little rattler. Come on. I have to feel for this one. Oh. Oh. Went in a bit. I think it was tiny, tiny little rattles. So nothing there. Unless I've got a little tiny silver eel again. No, stripped again. Stripped. Come on. Oh. Come on. Yep. Don't know if I got it. I think I missed him. Oh, I missed him. Because my leg was stuck in the mud. Oh. All right. Go again. These are small bass. Oh, 
Well, at this rate, I don't even know if we're going to make darkness. Uh, we are going through bay like anything. We cannot connect. Tiny little school bass. Tiny little bass stripping our baits there. I'll stay in the water two, three minutes, and that's it. We're stripped. Um, getting the rattles. But just can't connect to them. Just want a, a, one or two decent sized ones to come along, but at the moment, it's not happening. Just want to pray that we get enough bait to stay till darkness which is nearly here there's the sun anyway let's get back to these rods this looks like Mark's got a decent fish Come on, Mark. Have a good bass. You got an eel, a big eel. A big silver. You've got a big silver eel, mate. That is a big one. From the sea, anyway. I mean, in a lake, it's not that big, but uh, in a sea, that is pretty good going, mate. That is. Oh, Pete's just lobbed it back like it was a moray. There he comes. He wants to say hello, Pete. There he goes. Boom, boom, boom. Mr. Eel is back. Well, here we go again. Little rattles, rattle, rattle, rattle. Getting stripped. We are, I was going to say slowly, but quite quickly running out of bait. Come on. Come on. Yes, we got him. I think we've got him. I think we've got him. I'm hoping we got him. Yeah, we got something. About time. Oh, this has been hard work. It really has. I don't think it's big. It's not big at all, but been hard work getting a bite. What have I got here? Is it a bass? Oh no, that's the first time that has ever happened. And I don't like that at all. Wow, I have never ever had a dogfish from here. But now I have. Dogfish are taking over. That is not good. Oh, I really don't like. But I've caught a dogfish here. You got a fish, Mark? Oh dear. Anyway, he's a tiny little one. Let's get him back. There he goes. Ah, oh, this is not good. Mark has managed to get himself two eels today. Well done, Mark. Thanks. Look at that. Two eels. Well, that. Yeah, we're going to need them pliers again, mate. That is swallowed that. There is Mark's second eel. And there he goes back into the sea. Look at that. Wow. Well, I'm not impressed with that. Not impressed with the dogfish from here at all. Um, first time I've ever had a dogfish this far up. It's a bit nippy tonight. Didn't bring a jacket. It is nippy. I'm cold. Mark's cold. He didn't bring a jacket. Pete has been dancing around doing some fitness yoga exercises to keep him warm. And he's got a jacket on. And a silly hat. Pete, were you just doing yoga? Yeah. You were doing yoga? Yeah, yoga. Is that what you were doing? Yeah. To keep warm? Yeah. And you've got a jacket on? Yeah, I have. It's oh, nippy, isn't it? Cold. It is nippy. It's been yeah, really you know, hot today, but this wind coming off here... Sort of with my hat, I'll get into the yoga suit. Yeah. Even Mark, Mark's face! Mark's face is a face of disgust. <laughs> 
of the rapids. Yeah. Well, I was thinking like, probably had the advantage. Hey, Fez. Yeah, Fez. <laughs> Twisting my melons, man. Yeah, Dear oh. me. Yeah. There he is. Yeah. There, there. Anyway, we are struggling. We are struggling to actually get fish. We're getting stripped. We're running out of bait. We've probably only got cast each, I reckon. It's, it's getting towards 10 o'clock and it's still light. Um, but it's not any fish. We're still here. We're still here. We're still trying. We're still trying. Well, as I stand here watching my rod, Pete just had a stonking bite and missed it. They're happening so quick though, lightning fast. And then we're out of bait now. Out of bait. Ah. Well, unfortunately that is it. We have run out of bait. We are just getting stripped, stripped, stripped every time that bait hit the water. Mark's packing up. Packing up. You're packing up. You're all nearly packed up, aren't you, mate? We have run out of bait. We can't go any further with the fishing. Pete's packed up as well, aren't you, Pete? There you are, just a flashy light. Look at him. Whoa, glare. Well, none, no one blanked. Did you blank? No. no. You, you had an eel. Oh, had an eel. He had an eel. He had an eel. So, Mr. Eel, Mr. Double Eel over there. And I, uh, oh, you know, I'll mix it up. <laughs> oh yeah, dogfish, I can't get away from them. Cannot get away from the dogfish. Anyway, we are what? Probably five minutes before it gets completely dark. But it's pretty stunning. Now, all we have to do is make the uh, 40 minute walk back to the car. So, until next time, tie lines.